Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to Triple N Media I am Nick Nickam This is a market update on March 16 2021 we're going to be covering Triple Q Diamond and Spider No matter what I'm going to say is going to be said with a preface that there is a dark cloud hanging over the market today and it will be there tomorrow until 1 o'clock when we may see some violent movements in the stock prices yes indeed i am talking about the the fed chairman paul who is going to be speaking the fomc meeting is underway today and it will be continuing tomorrow that's why i put a little dark cloud here over the market so that we understand whatever we say is going to be dictated upon how the market reacts to the fed's uh, comments i'm not worried about the interest rate i'm not worried about the inflation i'm not worried about unemployment because those are all hard facts we can see what is going to be most devastating to the market would be what their forecast of the economy is going to be which may or may not fit with the reality as time evolves but anyway let's look at the market and let's be prepared for the worst let's start off with uh, let's see q q q or triple q and as we know we made a bottom here on march 5th it has made a nice uh, impulse comeback almost 30 40% of the loss uh, we had since february 2021 and it reached the t peak here and pulled back a little bit uh, it's kind of hard to do the elliot wave analysis here because of such a choppy nature of this uh, wave form but nonetheless uh, let's think about what could possibly happen assuming that we have completed the abc of this uh, nasdaq correction if this is an impulsive wave then i'm looking at uh, this is part of the correction this is not the complete correction if the impulsive wave is from here to here this is only part of the correction and depending upon how the market perceives the FOMC news and most importantly their forward economic forecast i don't know why they want to forecast because uh, that's going to drive the market for sure <laughs> and if the market were to correct and the, the 38.2 would be $314 and change and if it goes to 50% correction you are looking at to $310 i am hoping maybe we will stop at $310 and resume the uptrend that's a hopeful uh, approach so i i would be quite uh, concerned about what they are going to say so i would be prepared for the worst situation in a worst scenario if it goes drops to 61.2 you are looking at the $307 so maybe that's a good time to get into the market if the market uh, continues to go up so that's a brief overview of uh, what i think could happen with the nasdaq triple q let's go to spy and see how things look there see with spy it's a totally different story as you can see not only did it not only did it retrace its low from well, this was like uh, february 16th it has already run up quite a bit having said that i think the dow and the spy have more to lose tomorrow if the news from the fomc meeting is not all that hot i've never heard a hot news from fed chair or fomc meetings because if i re recall for the last 20 years most of the time what i have heard is uh, the only time actually it made some difference is uh, like a relief rally when interest rates were high they were dropping the interest rates to keep the economy under check that's the only time when the market said okay thank god for another 3 months we are free so let's run <laughs> that's the only time i have seen let's retrace this and see what the numbers look like if okay here i have a fibonacci retracement uh, lines uh, put in place uh, from the low of uh, 373 it has gone all the way up to 398 and it's been trying to break this uh, 4000 barrier but we know 
there's a big cloud hanging over the market today and tomorrow so we had to wait till that cloud clears if the clouds were to bring some showers what's the worst damage we could have 38 percent will drop it to 388 if it's a 50 percent correction it's going to be 385 and if it's going to be 61 percent correction 382 so if you are not in the market i would be looking at some of these uh, support levels and see if the market kind of uh, drops there and bounce back and maybe that's a good sign if you have other indicators like the stochastic and rsi sort of go along with that so that's something i would be looking for the worst thing we want to we don't want to see is for it to retrace 100 percent that's going to be a bad news you never know when the fed opens its mouth anyway so that's as far as uh, spy is concerned i think that's the main thing i would be concerned about is is there a good entry point if you haven't already put money here and if you did you may want to cover it with some uh, options in case uh, the fed gets too heavy-handed in controlling the economy or the market neither of which they can really control let's move on to diamonds and uh, where is the 16th actually this is february 24th uh, anyway here's the february 16th when nasdaq started to take a nose dive dow made a first uh, run beyond that point it dropped a little bit and it has almost gone up to quite a bit from this point uh, let me see what was this on february 16th when nasdaq started nose diving the dow was uh, around 316 dollars uh, now it is 329 dollars so it has made a beautiful run up just like the s p uh, spider and, and the main thing we would be concerned would be what's the damage going to be and can we recover if you want to follow the Elliott waves uh, we can say this is uh, one two three maybe four and it looks like maybe a, a, an extended five since one is shorter so the five can be extended and it looks like this was making some uh, correction and that may be just the beginning of the correction let us put some Fibonacci numbers and see what's the damage it's going to be if any okay so it is stopped at 329.95 and if it were to retrace 38 percent which is uh, pretty normal for such a huge run-up you are looking at 320.5 and if it hits 50 which is not unusual it can be down to 317 and 50 and if it gets more aggressive you are looking at 315 so from 329 you could look at all the, i don't think it's going to be 23 percent it's probably going to be at least intraday swing you're going to see so you may want to catch some profits uh, if you are able to get in the right time so i will be looking at these support levels more like 38.2 50.0 and in a worst scenario 61.8 and if we can hold there and bounce back then we have some chance of uh, going up some more that's uh, visual thinking what do you think what do you think the cloud is going to do to the market uh, if anything it's a nasdaq that's the triple q which is going to be hit hardest but at the same time s p and uh, diamonds have ran up so much they may be running out of uh, oxygen we never know we need to be prepared for all situations so what is your take on this one and how do you prepare if you are already in the market please leave some comments and we will see you tomorrow after the cloud or the rain showers or the thunderstorms clear thank you so much <laughs>